this is part of a series where I go onto Reddit, go onto a video editing and search for the how to's, um, basically go in there, replicate them and explore the different ways it can be done and generally explain it. So yeah, let's get stuck into Reddit. Um, here's a sub I go on quite a bit answer some questions um, how to how is a super what do you call a 3d is it, oh, this is one I've come across a few times actually 3d panel across an image text how do you do it so let's just have a look at the example track record. Investigators found no evidence of financial issues and his monthly expenses before the disappearance indicated nothing unusual. He had no history of mental illness nor right, had... Right, so... Right, let's have a look again. ...less track record. Investigators found no evidence of financial issues yeah. and his monthly expenses before... Yeah, basically, that's, um... Uh, an image of text and when you screenshot something it, it's just straight up flat there's no perspective and um, they're asking how do you I think let's just have a look what do you call 3d pan across what do you call it I'd say it's a perspective thing but depending on what apps you're using what uh, software um, they probably call it different things um, yeah, I've had this question before, and in Premiere it's really easy to do. Um, it's you use an effect called 3D Pan. So let's show how that's done. I first need a some text. So well, let's just do it with. Okay. Um, let me just check. Yep, you're getting that. Right. So, like I say, yeah, something like that. Um doesn't look the best quality obviously when you're altering the spec perspective post-production um it might be subject to a bit of warping so you generally want the best quality you can get um just for this purpose to show you the effect that's not too much of a problem so we'll save this image and we'll import that into Premiere. Okay. We've got the text document in Premiere. Yeah, I mean, I'm, the, with um, YouTube content and just general video content, a lot of people are putting these mashups together, and it's a good cutaway to have a bit of text highlighting what you're talking about. So, and rather than just a, a static flat image, it's good to put a bit of a bit of perspective on it. So, we've got the text; it's just an image. Um, it's PNG and we'll go in the effects and just type in basic 3D so under perspective here you've got basic 3D drag that in and problem is here I've I've just set the um, the sequence up to the text document um, aspect ratio so we'll just 
do another sequence in 1080p so I'll show you how that works because you, you've got to move the A4 piece around a 16.9 aspect ratio so you've got to bear that in mind really um, let's do 1080p 30 frames okay and I'll just copy that from that sequence and put it into there now we've got the A4 in a 1080p sequence and you can animate that with the keyframes like I've shown in other tutorials we're going to want to use the position the scale and the basic 3d this is what basic 3d does this is swivel and this is tilt so I think on the one ish on the example it's something a bit like that if you whack the scale up this is this is where what I was saying earlier comes into play about the quality of the image that you're using because it is an image it's not got all the the text out, outlined uh, it's not it's not vectored is the correct terminology right so if we switch the swivel off that's that so it's kind of going up into an ease motion from there I think it's got more of a more of a tilt on it I'm not going to show you how to do the um, the highlight the purple highlight um, but you do that first and then do the perspective of the tilt so I would imitate the, the time of the animation about that and there you want we'll, we'll we'll start we'll work backwards so that's where we want to end up we'll put keyframe in position scale swivel and tilt and then we'll go back to the the first frame we'll put another keyframe in all four there and then we can go down because it's going from down to up a little bit to the side and the best thing with things like this like animating flat midges you don't want to go too crazy so we'll get that no want it more straight and then go into just slightly more flat and then going into so it's kind of going kind of like it there's more um movement down and up so yeah I would actually do less on the on the swivel or is it the tilt no yes it is the tilt There we go, and last thing to do, I think that's kind of answered the, the query. Last thing to do is put a ease in on all the all the end motion points, so it goes. Let's see what that's like. See that? See how it eases in 
Um, let's go back and just double check that that is as desired or close. track record investigators found no evidence of financial issues and his mom yeah there you go it's pretty close and obviously it's per personal preference as to how much movement you want that's how you alter the basic 3D perspective, tilt and swivel in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching.